2% drop in body water can trigger fuzzy short-term memory, memory. This is critical in geriatric patients. My mother, at one point, got so dehydrated that her symptoms were misinterpreted as um, a psychic problem and was put on medication for it until I found out. It, it, it wasn't that she'd become uh, uh, organically uh, unstable in her brain. She was dehydrated. She had all the signs. It wasn't until uh, she got critically dehydrated. I was trying to coordinate this from here in Columbus, Ohio. She actually had to be taken out to the hospital. This is all over dehydration, just all over dehydration. Had to be taken out by ambulance, and she ended up getting seven, seven bags of fluid. She was that dehydrated. If you have anyone that's in a assisted care facility, full care facility, you have to be on top of this 24-7, the issue of hydration, or a lot of things can happen that aren't good. There can be bowel obstructions all over water. This is, uh, I have these references. I, I didn't, uh, this isn't something that a nutritionist put together. This, these are studies. Drinking five glasses of water daily decreases the risk of colon cancer by 45%. Now that's probably due to the fact that when you're dehydrated, you're constipated. Could be other reasons. L risk of breast cancer by 79%. <clears throat> Bladder cancer by 50%. Now you would be surprised how many people, I'm always amazed about this, that you would think it would be common sense that as <coughs> your urine gets dark, you're dehydrated. You would be amazed as to how many people don't get that. I, one day it's like straw, the next day it looks like antifreeze. Uh, I don't know why. You're dehydrated. Your urine should always be a very light, color. Now people say, well, I take B vitamins. You should still be able to tell the difference between dark, dehydrated, created urine and urine that's been created by taking B vitamins. A lot of people get lightheaded when they're dehydrated. Once again, back to geriatric uh, uh, patients, this is critical because that fall can be what we call the Humpty Dumpty phenomenon. You're never the same. This has happened to a lot of people. That fall that you have, maybe when you're over 70, 75, oftentimes you're never the same. How can dehydration cause dizziness and vertigo? Most likely through blood pressure fluctuation, problems with electrolytes. You can get irregular heartbeats through dehydration. I wonder how many people are put on pacemakers and they're just dehydrated, lacking sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium in their proper ratio. And then other things happen when you're, when you're really severely dehydrated. Uh, disorientation, <coughs> vomiting, seizures, coma, and death. That disorientation, this one, back, back to geriatrics, you don't have to be that severely dehydrated as, a, as an ill geriatric patient to become disoriented due to dehydration. That is exactly what happened to my mother. She became disoriented. And it wasn't due to some organic brain dysfunction. It was water. She was dehydrated. A lot of controversy, 
equations, ways to figure out how much water you need to drink. Certainly, it's six to eight glasses or more. Now, there are some really interesting ways to figure this out. Has anyone ever heard of a uh, urine hydrometer? Anyone ever heard of this? How about just a hydrometer? Okay, there is a specific little device. I mean, it kind of looks like this. It's clear. You put it in a liquid and it bobs and it'll tell you what the, what the uh, uh, specific gravity is. But I mean, generally speaking, you can tell if you're dehydrated. If, can, you, can you take your finger across your skin and, and you see the line? Are, are your lips cracked? I, I, is your urine dark? Are you constipated? Do you, do you feel like you need to drink some water like I do right now? You're dehydrated. Drink. You know, I talk to people and sometimes the biggest problem they have with this, they'll, they'll go, well, what about this issue? And I deal with that. And then what about this one? And I deal with that. And this comes down to, well, doctor, I, I know you're right, but I have to pee all day. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You do. You do. You know, it's like people that, uh, I'm a vegetarian. Oh, when I eat like that, I'm hungry again in a couple hours. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You're to be eating different things to get, to get these things into your body instead of sitting down to that big, huge three squares a day. No. You gotta do what you gotta do. I will tell you this, that after your body kind of gets balanced, you retain more of this water. Anyone here experience that? Started drinking this water and you're urinating a lot and after a while, not as much. Yeah. Yes. 